John, thanks for joining us. Um, obviously, at the start of the game, we go out and we're desperate to get the three points. It's been one point that we come away from. I'm reasonably pleased with how it's uh, gone across the 90 minutes. Yeah, I thought we were very good first half. You know, I thought we played some excellent football. Uh, it's, a, it's a top of the table clash. It's not going to be an easy game. Uh, Dick Campbell's built this team up over two and a half years. Me and Paul Smith have not been here two weeks yet, you know, and, and saying that we've got to bring in players to try and strengthen the squad because we had a number of injuries and, and we still have them. So, uh, based on that very short period of time being in here, the way the game went, I mean, uh, they're, they're a strong team, you know, they're, they're a strong team, Arbroath. Uh, Dick's put a lot of good players into that, into that team. So, and they know the league and they know the way to, to play. Uh, but I thought the football we played was, was excellent at times, really, really good. Oh, we caused our own problems. Yeah, we did. We caused our own problems in the first half. We gave the ball away in bad areas. We hold on to it a bit too long. But, you know, some of it was really, really slick. Other times it was really slick. We, we played through them. We got in behind them. No enough. No enough in behind. You know, we, we played to a point and then we'd come back and really that wasn't the end of the plan. You know, the plan was to go and penetrate and, and hurt them. And uh, that's where our goal came from when we actually went at them in that particular area where we could have been doing it a lot more because, you know, with the greatest respect, Bobby Lynn doesn't go back and so we were getting 1v1s, 2v1s doing that side. Of course, when the ball breaks and it goes up the park, Bobby Lynn's there ready to go and uh, have a go at your, your, your defender and that's how it ends up being the goal. But then, you know, we've capitalised down that side. We, could, we should have been capitalising a lot more, you know. Uh, amount of times that we were down that side, 1v1, 2v1, and never got anything from it, you know. So there's a wee bit, maybe a wee bit of lack in belief which... Uh, we can't really cater for because you win 5 1 last week and you think there's loads and loads of confidence, loads and loads of belief there. But maybe in a big game, maybe a slightly bigger crowd than normal, you know, maybe we just, the guys up top, you know, and Nathan on the full wing, Louis Millen coming in there, great opportunity to strike and we have a wee pass at the ball, you know, and we should be should be striking. And, you know, that, that can make the difference. Last week we shot and, and, and we scored, you know, this week we kind of, we just didn't have it looked like that kind of. Belief. I don't know if it was belief or not, but I'm just you know, when you when you're trying to figure out why would you know shout uh, shoot sorry, it's one of the things you would, you would come up with. But good character, good character to lose a game or lose a goal sorry with ten minutes to go, and we fought back. You know we fought back, and uh, you know we we we'll, we'll learn so much for that and take so much from that. And with three quarters of the season to go, four points behind, we're sitting there, nice uh, sort of tucked in right behind them and. A lot to play for. Ten minutes to go, we've got a goal behind and it's a, an immediate test of character and, and they stood up to it. Regan Henry's absolutely key in the goal, but I thought he was key in so many aspects of today's game. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. I thought him and Big Nat were, were very, very good right for the start. They controlled the game, I felt. Uh, anything that was positive and good from us, they were they were at the start of it, most of it. Yeah, that's the way that we want to play. You know, we will get slicker with it. We, we will, you know, today... It didn't quite come off as often as we would like, but no doubt in that uh, Reagan Henry was for me the best player in the park. You know, Bobby Lynn's a threat, and uh, you know he did well for them going forward. But Reagan put a shift in going both ways, and, and uh, you know, you know, uh, we can be very pleased with his performance today. If he's going to turn up with salmon pink boots, he better deliver. Well, that's what I thought during the week when I seen them. You know. It was a bit of a surprise, but nonetheless, you know, he's went and pulled it off today. Um, last week it was wind, this week it was uh, the sun that was causing a bit of challenge, particularly for the back four, uh, second half. I uh, feel they dealt with that well, and it was a strong performance of the unit, obviously including Robbie as a as, as kind of final line. Yeah, Robbie had a couple of really good saves, one in the first half, one in the second half. Uh, DG, from their point of view, had a, a great save when Nathan, well, Nathan was through, DG had a save when Nathan was right through. He's got to get a shot away earlier, allows the defender to get a challenge in. Uh, but, nah, well, we, early doors we've seen that the sun was going to be in their eyes in the first half. We thought maybe by the second half it might have went down in a way, but uh, it was there. But, uh, no, I thought we defended the box very well because they had a, a number of corner kicks and they're, they're a threat from set plays because they're so, so big, so tall and they did a good, good delivery, which is everything you want from a from a set play. And I thought we got ahead to, to most things. We defended really, really well. Callum Crane defended well in a situation. The ball was coming to the back post area, and he, he stuck it away you know, behind where, I don't know if it was Danny Denham was coming in from the, the blind side or not, and Benedictus had a, a similar sort of defensive header at the back post area when they got a couple of crosses in. So I thought we defended the box really, really well. Uh, you know, I think we'll be uh, more clinical in games to come. Yeah. 
two weeks ago, I spoke with Ian Davidson, uh, thinking of these two games coming up, and he was saying that a return of four points out of six would be would be a decent return. Do you, you feel similar? Uh, well, I'm a, I'm greedy sod, you know. I want six, but nonetheless, you can't deny that these were two difficult, you know, games to come into. You know, we had them barn. Everyone's kind of favourites for the league title. There are a, a number of people's uh, favourites for the league title based on the, the score that they've got, but they've obviously got one or two wee uh, injury issues, and that's kind of probably prevented them having the start that they were they were looking for. And um, at both of obviously this team that's set, set the pace all season so far. So uh, yeah, we knew they were going to be difficult games. Uh, the gap's not any bigger than it was when we came in, which is a good thing because we've, as I say. Less than two weeks here, the last thing you want is that gap to go to seven or ten points. It's no, it's only four points, and we uh, we've got our both to play another three times. So, you know, that's nine points in itself. So, you know, plenty of time. The crowd today is up 653 on the last home gate. That's uh, really encouraging, and uh, we need to try and keep that momentum going off the park as well as on it. Yeah, very much so. I thank everyone who came along today and supported the team uh, brilliantly. Um, that's a, that's a massive, massive boost uh, for myself and Paul Smith and the players at the, the number at Davies talking there, 600 nod. That's that's fantastic extra. Uh, that'll help the club enormously. And it was frustrating for everyone today. We, 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 we'll we get better and that. We, we weren't bad today. We, we, we recognised we were playing a, a really, really good team and uh, we will get better than that. We won the far away, but uh, a little bit frustrating. But then we, we, we can even know that football's not always straightforward. Uh, so stick with us. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really uh, grateful for everyone who came along today and supported the team, and hopefully you'll come back. Thanks very much, John. Cheers.